Jesus, the Son of God sent to save the world, has some pretty funny names in the Bible. He's referred to in all sorts of different ways. And one of the weird ones that makes you stop and think is when they call him the Lamb of God. And when they say the Lamb of God, they always say it like it's a really cool thing. Why is it that it's great that Jesus is a sheep? That seems really weird, doesn't it? Well, the reason why they say that Jesus is the Lamb of God is because in the Old Testament, they used to use lambs as a sacrifice. Now, a sacrifice was to pay for sin. So in the Old Testament, when someone committed a sin, what they'd have to do is sacrifice an animal, which is very sad, like a lamb, to pay for the sin. And then if they were to sin again, what they would have to do is sacrifice a lamb for their sin. And sin is when we break the rules that God has for us. When we go our own way and we say no to God. So then if they were to sin again, they of course would have to sacrifice another lamb. And this would go on and on and on. And every time you would sin, you would need to sacrifice. But the thing is, God sent Jesus, the perfect son, in order to be the sacrifice for all mankind. Jesus' death on the cross covered the sin of everyone. You didn't need to keep sacrificing and keep sacrificing, and keep sacrificing, because Jesus was so perfect that he covered all sin. And that's why they say that he is the Lamb of God. He's the perfect sacrifice once and for all. And so there's a few things that this passage that we're reading today tells us about following this sheep, Jesus. And the first one is what we've just heard, that Jesus saves us eternally. So if we follow Jesus, the sheep, we will be saved eternally. Now, we know this in the passage because they recognize him as the Lamb of God. Something else we hear in the passage is that Jesus tells people to come and see. He says, follow me, come and see. And we learn that if you follow Jesus, the Lamb, he will help you to see truthfully. This doesn't mean that you can just see with your eyes, but it means he opens our eyes and our hearts and our minds to see what is true. If you follow Jesus, you will be able to see truthfully. And finally, the last thing that this passage tells us about those who follow Jesus is that we get a brand new identity. And we learn this because one of Jesus's followers, his name was Simon. He becomes a new person when Jesus says, you'll now be called Peter. Jesus gives him a whole new name to represent the fact that he has a new identity. He chose to follow Jesus and that means that his life completely changed to follow him. So we've learned today that Jesus is called the Lamb of God because he saves us eternally. If you follow Jesus, you'll be saved eternally. If you follow Jesus, he will help you to see truthfully. And finally, if you follow Jesus, he's going to give you a new identity, an identity that is secure that will mean you're safe and that you'll be able to see what is true. This is amazing, amazing, amazing news. And it's good for us to thank God that he has done this for us. So please pray with me now as I do that. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to save us eternally. Thank you that he helps us to see truthfully. Thank you that if we follow him, we have a new identity. Amen. Now, in order for you to remember and understand what we've learned today, there is a craft on the website. He looks a bit crazy and a little bit like me. I really encourage you to download it. Even better, you can come along to the 4.15 Club today at church at 4.15 p.m. where we will be doing a craft just like this, but even a little bit better. You kiddos are invited as well as your families and anyone who might like to support families. It's from 4.15 until 5 p.m. church. And of course, you're welcome to stay for church. So please join us at 4.15 today. Um, and if you download this from the website and do the craft, please get in touch and show me what you've made. Thank you.